Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to just do a little bit of fixing on the reloading because I want to make sure that the ammo doesn't go below zero because at the moment if you just keep on shooting it will go below zero. A very very easy way to do that to fix that is just going to gun script and whenever we're calling the if input dot get button fire one function Whenever we want to shoot, we want to make sure that we have ammo. So just go ahead and add this part of the code. So just and current ammo is more than zero. So we can shoot if current ammo is more than zero. If it's not, I'm sorry, then you can't shoot. But I also want a way of knowing whenever we don't have ammo. So what I'll do is I'll go to canvas and I will create just a new text, UI text, and it will be out of ammo text. Uh, let's go to the game view and I will make sure the text is red and maybe I will decrease the uh, Alpha to about 200 so it's a bit transparent. I will change the font size to about 34 and Make sure that the width is around 300 and the height about 50 Also make sure that the alignment is in the middle and I will just say out of ammo like that now, if you press F in, while well, in the scene view and uh, while well, having this selected, it will go to it. So you can just maybe move it down a bit, maybe like minus 100. Like that, so it's here. Maybe decrease the alpha to about 150. And uh, now that's good. So we want to enable and disable this every time uh, our ammo, or we have ammo and we don't have ammo. Now I want to disable and enable that text every time we get into the game. So when whenever we get into the game, I'll just go ahead and uh, and say something. But first, we need a variable. The way I'm gonna do this is uh, by adding a tag to the uh, out of ammo text. So just add a text, and it will be like out of ammo. And then I will just I think this is the easiest way. There's other ways to do it, but uh, just make sure that the out of ammo text has the out of ammo tag. And now we can create a uh, private text object. We can't yet because we have to make sure that we're using Unity Engine.ui. So you can create a private text out of ammo text. And then what we have to do is in here just make sure that uh, out of ammo text is equal to uh, game object dot find game object game object with tag out of ammo instead of making it text I'll just make it a game object and then I don't think we need to use the unity engine up here so now everything should work we can access that actually put it back here because we'll need it I'm sorry so using Unity engine.ui. We'll need it. So now every time we shoot, or sorry, first when we start the game, we need to make sure that out of ammo text dot game object, or so can we just do set active? Yeah, just set it to false. Whenever we start the game, we want to disable it. Easy as that. Now every time we shoot, if we have or if we can shoot, that means that we have more than zero ammo. And if we can shoot, that means that we don't have ammo. So if we shoot, we want to do nothing, but else, so, or we'll just go else if current ammo is less or equal to zero. If we don't have ammo, we'll just go ahead and say out of ammo text dot set active to true. Or every time we reload right here on the end I will just say out of ammo text that get uh, that set active I'll set it to true or sorry to false so I want to disable it every time we reload we'll have ammo so that means I want to disable this let's see how this goes so it's disabled if we shoot you can see that we don't have any more ammo and if we reload you can see that it goes away now this doesn't get disabled immediately, but that's fine because the gun script uh, will be um, on the player immediately, but not yet because we were not adding weapons to the player uh, immediately, but we'll do that later. So that's it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully this helped you. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. 
you can go follow me on social media if you want. Um, go f go support me on my Patreon if you're that kind. And uh, hopefully, I will see you next time. Bye bye.